welcome back into another video. Today we're going to talk about we're going to talk about the last two picks for the Arizona Cardinals. But obviously, let me put a quick disclaimer here, real quick. This is going to be picks. 168 and 180 now we currently do have a pick at 213 i'm not going to be able to make a video about it but i will be putting a post on my community tab on who we ended up picking up as well as i will be posting out on my social media as well so make sure you follow me on my social platforms everything will be in the description of the video below now let's get started here ladies and gentlemen the arizona cardinals obviously making a lot of moves a lot of wheeling and dealing uh we now found ourselves with two more prospects intriguing prospects i might add um coming to the arizona cardinals now also please keep in mind once you kind of get further into the draft the likely probability of them making the 53 man roster or just the cardinals in general um uh, is is very it's very hard now I, this is a brand new regime. They, they might be go doing things differently. They might be giving opportunities, which I really do hope because some of these prospects are very, very intriguing. Now, let's talk about the fifth round pick here for the Arizona Cardinals, or at least the other fifth round pick, right? Not Clayton Toon, which I'm really excited about. Now, this guy is really intriguing as well. The Arizona Cardinals ended up picking up linebacker Owen Papu. Um, this is going to be the 168th overall pick coming to the Arizona Cardinals. Now, he does play linebacker out of Auburn. Now, I was looking at a couple, you know, tape a little, um, highlights from him and honestly I could see this guy working out in the NFL this guy's an absolute he hits hard <laughs> he hits really really hard um and if he can bring that physicality if he can bring that type of mentality into the Arizona Cardinals locker room and just that that football mind that's exactly what we need here for the Arizona Cardinals obviously a really really young talent coming into the Arizona Cardinals um I welcome him with open arms but yes this is going to be the Arizona Cardinals 168th pick linebacker Owen Papu and now let's move on to the sixth uh, round pick for the Arizona Cardinals our first one let me remind you guys again the 213 I'm not going to be able to make a video about it but I'll be making posts on my social media just so you guys are kept to date so this sixth round pick we want to talk about is going to be cornerback Contrell Clark out of Louisville now I'm so glad the Arizona Cardinals doubled down on cornerbacks because we need it we need the help I know Marco Wilson came out and said that he loves being you know doubted right he, he loves being feeling underrated I'm glad you know keep keep that you know keep keep that momentum but honestly I'm glad that we're bringing in some talent here as well coming out of the draft now this guy does play from uh play for Louisville so I'm excited to see how he's going to be coming out here uh for the Arizona Cardinals now 10 a, a little shorter right in terms of when I'm thinking quarterback a cornerbacks I want to have like a six foot maybe six one six two so he's a little shorter but honestly I heard some good things about him uh he's 510 181 pounds and honestly let's see let's see what happens uh let's see what happens from Cottrell Clark hopefully he can make it and hopefully he can make a big difference here for the Arizona Cardinals or at least being a starter right we don't we don't need to do a big difference but we at least need to be a starter uh for the Arizona Cardinals now I want to pivot into something completely different here I want to go ahead and let you guys know that Monty Osinfor is a he's this man is a wizard let me just say that right now Monty Osinfor is an absolute wizard um he's been making a lot of wheeling and dealing if you guys haven't been following the draft uh or if you've been watching the videos you know every time I make a video I'm like well, we traded this we traded that right there's a lot of moving parts within the Arizona Cardinals draft picks but in 2024 the Arizona Cardinals are going to have a lot of picks and I mean a a lot of picks if you take a look here at this uh screenshot that we have here from Adam Schefter he was kind enough to put everything together to kind of let us know you know what the Arizona Cardinals are going to have in store next year we got two first rounders one belonging to the Texans we got one second rounder and then we got what is it three third round picks possibly um five picks in the top 100 right just really depending on how the Texans and the Titans do I personally don't think the the Texans are going to do very great I think the Titans are going to be pretty mid um so maybe a mid round a uh, third round pick so that's going to be really exciting but man we got picks for days and Monty Osenfor was the the mastermind behind it all and I think he definitely deserves kudos even if we get three or four starters out of this draft class I think that's an absolute huge win for the Arizona Cardinals we've been so used to not seeing rookies 
participate in um, just the team in general, not being as involved as we all hoped that they would be. Um, but, you know, kudos. Kudos to Monty Osen for Kudos to, I hope, this new regime coming in here, giving the fair opportunity to these young guys that are hungry, that have that eye of the tiger, that want to actually be great. So I really do hope that everybody gets a fair crack at it. But man, let's look at all those picks that we have in the 2024 season. And you know, with the uncertainty, with everything that's currently going on this year, right, with D-Hot, Buddha, maybe even Kyler next year. So it's really cool to kind of have a backup plan. And I think that Monty Osenfort's automatically thinking ahead. And that's something that I love from a GM. So as of right now, kudos, kudos to Monty Osen for the way he played this out. Now, in terms of the draft prospects, we don't really know how they're going to work out until we see them on the field preseason and if they make it into the starting lineup. So as of right now, I do think that the Cardinals prospects that are coming in here they got a fair chance because yes we have a lot of holes on this team so it's anybody's game at this very moment for these young guys to come out and show out and see what they can do in training camp so appreciate you guys for tuning in let me know how you guys are feeling about the fifth round and first sixth round pick here for the arizona cardinals let me know in the comments below appreciate you guys for tuning in as always have a great rest of your day and go cards